Well, good morning. Our entrance antiphon. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and the strength. Constantly seek his face. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we gather, we give thanks for his many blessings in our lives. We thank God for our fragile world. We thank you for our families and friends, for our community. We ask the good Lord to help those who struggle this day, those who face war, violence, poverty, crime, sickness. We lift them up to the Lord and call upon his mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger but bring them up with the training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to your human master with fear and trembling in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not only when being watched or curing fever, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, willingly serving the Lord and not men knowing that each will be requited from the Lord for whatever good he does, whatever he is, is slave or free. Master, act in the same way towards them and stop bullying, knowing that both they and you have a master in heaven and that with him there is no partiality. The word of the Lord. The Lord is faithful in all his words. The Lord is faithful in all his words. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. making known to men you might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. Uh, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus passed through towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will attempt to enter but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house has arisen and locked the door, then will you stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, Open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, We ate and drank in your company, and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evildoers, and there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, and jo Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The gospel of the Lord. Today's gospel reminds me of something that uh, Father Greg Boyle wrote about. Father Greg Boyle, he's the author of the book uh, Tattoos on the Heart, and he shared stories of uh, gang members wanting to turn their lives around. So for him, the entrance into the kingdom of God is not restricted to just a few good people. He would include his former gang members and those youths that are at risk and that were abused and left to survive on their own. Mother Teresa's diagnosis with the problem of our world is she said that we've forgotten that we belong to each other. We've forgotten that we belong to each other. The kingdom, then, is not about membership, but about this radical belonging to each other and helping each other. St. Paul, in today's first reading, wasn't trying to teach whether we should own slaves or not or how we should discipline our children. The heart of it is mutual respect. If we remember that we belong to each other, whether as parents and children, then we would treat each other differently. The same with masters and slaves, husbands and wives, and vice versa. Regardless of our status in life, whether rich or poor, young or old, we are to treat each other with love and respect because we belong to each other. And Father Greg, as Father Greg puts it, without kinship, there will be no justice. Without kinship, there will be no peace. And without kinship, none of us will enter the kingdom of God. So let us ask the good Lord to teach us what it means to love one another, so that we may know how to belong to each other and enter 
into the kingdom here on earth and in heaven. Let us pray. For ourselves and all Christians, that we may model the love Christ has shown us with one another, we pray to the Lord. For peace in our troubled world, in Ukraine and Russia, that we may learn to belong to each other, we pray to the Lord. For the gift of rain, for all parts affected by drought, we pray to the Lord. For the sick, Brian Batt, Charlie Cunningham, Jean Ann Sullivan, and all whom we have promised our prayers, we pray to the Lord. This Mass is being offered by Herminia Sangalang as a Mass of Thanksgiving. So in gratitude for God's many blessings in our lives, for the blessings of family and friends, for the blessings of health and work, we pray to the Lord. And we remember also Barbara Harway for her eternal repose and for all who have died, that they may be welcomed into our he God's heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. And for your intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you who are faithful in all your works, hear the prayers of your children as we entrust them into your loving hands. In your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in service may be directed above all to your glory. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Jesus your Son. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, and those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, we may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis our Pope and Salvatore our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. 
through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With one heart and one faith together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
our communion antiphon. We will ring out our joy at your saving help and exult in the name of our God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a wonderful day, everyone.